hormonal acne is a recipe for disaster and pretty much I have a disaster on my face mm -hmm. caused by stress and um, menstrual or whatnot through this transition I will not be wearing any makeup so that my face can cleanse itself or whatever it needs to do and can I just say that it will cause you to feel not your most confident because I did come to a point where I was like you know what I don't even want to post a video so I had to tell myself like I'm an advocate for those women out there that are going through this and feel the same way so I was like why not post why not speak my mind why not post a video talking about this very thing that people are going through hmm i don't know i thought about myself i was being selfish that's why i went to go see a dermatologist and because i just knew that something was going on like i said i had never experienced it only like here and there i experienced one bump or whatever or whiteheads here and there okay so menstrual came on, went off, and then I ended up these, and that's the thing, they take forever to go away. And even if you try to bust them, they still take forever to go away, and they're painful. So I was like, you know what? Okay. Then I noticed a third one pop up in the same area that they're, that the one right here. And then, anyways, so I'm like, what in the world? Do I need to change my skincare routine? Am I you not using the right products? I don't know. I don't know what to do, so I'm looking up different topics, other videos, you know, asking questions, trying to see what it was that I was doing wrong and what I needed to do. Needless to say, I ended up with at least three more bumps on my face. And two, one of those areas is an area that the bump was already there and another bump reappeared and that area is still raised. And they're raised underneath there are bumps underneath the skin so there's no way you can bust it you're not supposed to bust it because then you ended up damaging your skin and that's another thing that I did there and I just like they were coming out of nowhere it's like one appeared like recently this week I had another one pop up on my face so and I know they're they're brought on too by stress from what they from from what the streets say you know that being stressed can contribute to it so I know if I am stressed is because I got this stuff going on on my face so I know one that will be one of the reasons why I'm stressed because I'm like what is going on what is it on my face this ain't never happened that's why I'm stressed so your girl had to go see a dermatologist yeah it ain't like I ain't never been before but I was just like okay I need to see a dermatologist so I was prescribed clindamycin and retinol trentinol trentinol so the retinol was a bit expensive for a bit expensive for you girl and they had they have other ones other ones also that i'm familiar with like the different gel <clears throat> epidural forte, forte and both of those i've used in the past i believe my very first youtube video at the time i was using epidural forte and my skin was peeling at that time so i'm familiar with those two and the and, and both of the both of the um, ointments that I was prescribed are topical. Actually, my insurance didn't intake the Tretinol, so that's why I ended up not getting the Tretinol because it was expensive. So I ended up optioning to get the different gel, which was over the counter, and I believe that was only like $28 or whatnot. And as far as the clindamycin, I ended up getting that, and um, with insurance, that was about um, 20 bucks. So I am to take the... So being that I didn't get the Trentinol, I optioned to get the different gel, which is in the same category as the Trentinol. So I stay in the same bracket of medication that is to be taken at night. And the clindamycin is to be taken in the a.m. Very important to use a sunscreen because if you don't use a sunscreen, then it will end up damaging or making these dark spots darker on your face and you, want, you don't want that. The sun causes that area to get dark. So wear a moisturizer with a sunscreen, SPF and so included in it. Don't go out there thinking that you can't be burnt because you can't be burnt. It's just a different type of way. 
in the mornings, I have to wash my face and put and apply the clindamycin on my face. And then, of course, the Cetaphil with the SPF sunscreen inside. And then repeat those steps and then I guess after as my face clears up then I'm to use the different gel as a spot treatment so whenever I see like a acne bump or something then to apply it that way but it says to gradually you gradually use the product so kind of like baby take baby steps on getting your skin used to the product before you use it overall or use it all over your face so in the clindamycin, I am to take little dots, a dot here, dot here, dot here, and then um, rub it into my skin, um, avoiding the eyes and mouth and nose. Uh, I am to continue using my normal face wash and my normal moisturizer that I have that I have been using, in which my face wash is actually an acne solution by Clinique. So I am to continue using those items and he told me as far as like the toners and the exfoliators and stuff like that to kind of stand clear from those and you don't really need those. Well, I don't really need those. Not talking about you, but I don't really need those. But I did end up getting the Neutrogena, it's called Clear Pore and it's a cleaner, cleanser and it's a mask. For certain days that I don't want to use my Clinique, I will use my Clear Pore Cleanser in mask by Neutrogena. So um, I'll alternate between the two or whatnot. So I'm going to end tonight's discussion. And if you guys are interested in more videos like this, don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think. And what your experiences were with using any of the products that I mentioned and if you experienced what I experienced let me know how they or what products that you use to help you and what were your um, steps to overcome that so um, yes until next time I'm going to end this video Oh, and also, too, I'll be coming back updating you guys on what's going on with my skin, even the ugly part when it's peeling, so you guys will know what's going on with the skin. And, yeah, until next time, you guys stay blessed.